I'm really honored to have with us Justin Gorini, one of your sons. Uh, became very well known with American Idol and came in second to Kelly Clarkson. And our soloist is, uh, is ill, so she's not here. And so I said, Justin, <laughs> are you in Doylestown on Sunday? He's like, I'm, I have a big project I'm working on, but uh, please. <laughs> so, so we're really happy to have with us the extraordinary Justin Gorini to lead the solo on Motherless Child. Can you hear me? I'm so afraid. Papa, can you hear?
nobody planned for me to say anything, but I do want to just give you a little bit of context. Um, I've been very fortunate to grow up here. I currently live here down the street, <laughs> which is why I was so fortunate and honored to be able to be here uh, and to share this experience with you. Um, but that song right there changed my life because I was in county choral choir at Lenape, you know you were there, at Lenape Middle School in this handsome, strong, serious man walked into the room. <laughs> Y'all know. And he was our conductor that year. And he had helped us all and showed us all singing songs that we had never really sang before. And just it felt like on a whim, he started playing the piano. He started playing the introduction to that song you heard. And he taught us, and I'll never forget, I leaned over to my friend for no apparent reason, knowing nothing about the word confidence. I said, I want that. <laughs> Just that youth, right? Encapsulated youth right there. And I said, I want that. And we auditioned a bunch of people, auditioned for it. And I ended up getting that solo, solo you just heard. When I was 15, I'll be 44 this year. <laughs> And the reason why I say it changed my life is because it helped to give me the confidence. It helped me to recognize who I was. I'm a mixed race. My father's African American and my mother's Italian. It helped deepen my roots and my connections to myself, to the church. And while I was confirmed here in this very church, I also had the great experience of growing up in the Black Baptist Church in the South. And to wrap this up, I am forever grateful to Donald Dumpson for saying yes to me, for giving me the opportunity to sing this song, because it is one of the greatest honors I've ever had in the past 30 years that we've known each other. And so thank you, thank you, and thank all of you. <laughs> 